Are any men among you today, or still a bunch of little girls? Are those mustaches, or slugs coming out of your nostrils? Will anyone fight me? Will you? Or you? Ha <laughs> ha! Maybe you? Just as I thought. No one. Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Ha why is everyone just standing around and taking this? We can't let him talk to us like that. In case you haven't noticed, Goliath is a rather scary individual. He's like one of those Chinese gymnast girls. He's been bred for this very moment. Has everyone forgotten that God is on our side? That would be great if God could come down from the heavens and fight this battle for us. But unfortunately, we need a human to fight Goliath. Well, I, for one, am confident in God's power. I will battle Goliath myself. You're just a kid, David. And besides, this is bigger than your little ego. The future of all Israel is at stake. Then God will protect all of Israel. God has prepared me for this battle. Remember that time with the lion? Flinging a rock at a cat and fighting a warrior are two very different things. Thanks for your input. I'll take this up with King Saul. I don't know. Just because you killed a lion, it was a really big lion. It was threatening my flock. Well, one thing's for sure. I can't go myself. I'm such a big target. You would have that one thing going for you. You're nice and small. But will my armor fit you? Oh, I don't need armor. I've got my sling. And besides, I have God as my protection. I know it's anachronistic to say this, but I have a shield of faith and a helmet of salvation. No, 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 no good. Try on my armor. Um, it's a little big. I can barely see under the helmet. This is only going to get in the way. It'll get in the way of the Philistine spear. The God who saved me from the paw of the lion and the paw of the bear will save me from the hand of this Philistine. Be careful. That sword could have landed on my foot. I don't care about your foot, King Saul. I care about the future of the people of Israel. Surely you're not going to let that little boy go and fight Goliath. He'll be crushed, and we'll be slaves. If he fights as well as he sings, he may have a shot. Your Highness, music and war are two very different arts. Well, it's too late now. The giant is here. What have you all been up to? I've been working out, practicing my killing maneuvers. Who wants to be killed? I ask for a man to fight, and they send me a little boy. What, are we going to play rock, paper, scissors? You have no chance against Goliath. I'm gonna make you go lieth down in your grave. The witty little Israelite is going to kill me with puns. Hey Goliath, do you want to learn some Hebrew? Why not? I'm always looking to advance my knowledge. The words harag, it means to kill. And that's exactly what I'm going to do to you. You fooled me. I didn't realize you were going to make a threat. Hey Goliath. Want to learn some more Hebrew? That would be fascinating. You know I was a linguistics minor at Gath U. The words moot, it means to die, which is exactly what's going to happen to you. Fool me once, little Hebrew boy. Shame on you. Fool me twice, shame. Fool, um, I'm going to kill you. Not with God on my side, you won't. You have gone too far, little Israelite. Now I will not only kill you, but I will feed your flesh to the birds of the air and the beasts of the field. <gasps> you come to me with sword and spear, but I come in the name of the Lord of hosts. Now all the world will know that there's a God in Israel. Then I'll destroy you and your notion of this little God. One more question, Goliath. Do you feel lucky? You're the one who needs luck, relying on that invisible god of yours.
poisoned him. <laughs> Impossible! He killed Goliath!